I dyed my hair purple and I want to do a purple eyeshadow look. That's it. It's that simple today. Let's just play with some purple eyeshadow and do like a full glam look. I'm thinking of using the purpley shades in my palette. So we have a 2015 right here in Zinfandel. I feel like these two together would be really pretty. And then for like a really fun pop of shimmer, almost duochrome, I think I'm going to go into these What's Up Beauty palettes. This is the Geodes one. They're not showing up correctly on camera because it's so duochrome, but these two shades right here I was looking at, but I'm also feeling this one from the Monsoon palette. So I don't know. Let's just dive in and do a purple makeup look. So I am going to start with my eyeshadow palette with Sigma and I'm going to take a Sigma E55 in the shade Zinfandel and I'm going to start by packing the shade on my entire eyelid. So does anyone else do this too? Like if you dye your hair a fun color or you just get your hair done in general, like you want to go home and do like a really fun makeup look, right? Like you just want to feel yourself with a new hair, a new makeup look. Who else does this? I need to know. So I'm kind of bringing this up into my crease and I'm keeping the shape pretty rounded because I think I am going to do kind of a halo eye today. And I'm dipping back into this shade quite a few times to build it up. I feel like when you're packing on matte shadows all over the lid, you definitely have to use quite a bit of product. I'm also trying to like relax my face while working on this shape. You can really see the shade when my face is relaxed like normal. Now I'm taking more shadow on the tip of this brush and I'm gonna pack it along my entire lower lash line. And I'm using a pretty big brush for this because I want this to be just like a really blown out, super glam look. Typically I would use a lot of a smaller brush for my lower lash line. So again, I'm looking straight into my mirror and I'm trying to keep my face relaxed. And I'm just wiggling this brush all along to create a nice connected shape. So you want to make sure the shadow connects right out here. I'm also trying a different kind of technique for like my eyeshadow primer slash like under eyes today. Usually when I do my eyeshadow, I always do just like my top lid first and then I do my base makeup and then my lower lash line concealer and then lower lash line eyeshadow. But today I put my concealer all along under my eyes on top of my eyelid and like set this area. So like this area is done with my makeup, but like I haven't done my base makeup yet. Does that make sense? All right, so I have Zinfandel packed all along my eye and now I'm gonna take a small firm blending brush. This is a Sigma E42. And I'm just gonna start to blend around the edges of the shadow. Again, there's no product on this brush right now. And I'm just working on the edges. liking how this shape is looking though like I'm happy I took my time with like relaxing my face because it's something I don't always do but I like I should do because my eyes are slightly hooded okay like I said I'm just kind of playing around with shadow today and I just want to get a glam purple look so I am going to dip into a couple different palettes I think I want some kind of like lavender shade so I'm gonna go find a lavender yeah, I found one so I'm gonna take that Sigma E42 with the shade Wisteria from the ABH Nouveau palette did you guys see her new what it's like falling falling in romance falling in love romance <laughs> eyeshadow palette that I think it just got announced. I don't think it's out yet. I'll post a picture up right here so you can see what I'm talking about, but she first leaked the outside of the palette, which is honestly like the color of my eyelid. And it's like a beautiful fall color on the outside. And I was kind of excited to see the inside um, because I also didn't buy the Cosmos palette, the most recent one that she came out with, but I do have Nouveau and Rose Metals from last year. Also, I'm just taking Wisteria and blending that around the edges. And now she's shown the inside of the palette and I'm not very inspired inspired by it. I don't really like the shade selection, but I do think this palette would be great on medium to deep skin tones because there is so much depth and deeper shades in this palette. But for someone like me, I like palettes that have a mixture of pretty light and pretty deep shades. And it looked like like the two gold shades looked really similar. I think one was kind of greener, but it just wasn't what I wanted out of a palette with this outer packaging that looks so pretty. I'm loving this lavender mixed with that Zinfandel color and this just like super blown out shape I'm making. I am really taking my time today by the way like I'm just having a chill 
fun time here. Go back to my Sigma palette and take the shade Bare again on the same E42. And I'm gonna use this to blend out the edges of the lavender. So I'm kind of blending farther and farther away from my eye each time, but that's how you're gonna get a super smooth looking blend. Cause I like my shadows just to like fade into my skin, which is why I love using this Bare shadow to lighten up all the edges. A kind of newish step I've been doing in my eyeshadow routine is again taking that really light bare shade but this time on a super fluffy brush. Like normally I would not place this brush in my crease or anything, it's too big. This is the BK Beauty 201 and I like to use this just to really buff out all of these edges and I'm using a super light hand and I feel like this just really finishes off the soft blend. Now I'm gonna go back to the very first shade I used, Zinfandel, on that flat brush. And I'm gonna touch up the shade on my outer and inner lid. I think I am gonna add some kind of duochrome shade to the center of my eye. But I'm just touching up the shade on my lid since a little bit did get blended out with all the blending we just did. taking whatever is left on my brush on my lower lash line. Okay, like I said, I wanna do a duochrome on the center of my lid. So I'm gonna swatch some shades from these What's Up Beauty palettes. So from the Geodes palette, this is Crystal, this is Amethyst. And then from the Monsoon palette, this one is Succulent. No, I think I'm thinking the third one. So I'm gonna take that Succulent shade on my finger and I'm gonna pop that in the center of my lid. This is so pretty. I am getting quite a bit of fallout with that kind of duochrome shade. Now I'm gonna spray a little fluffy brush. This is a Sigma E33, if you will focus. And I'm gonna take a little bit of this crystal shade from Geodes. And I just wanna like dot this right in the center, see if this will do anything. Is it doing much? I don't know. Now I'm just gonna take a Sigma E25, a little blending brush, and do a soft blend in my crease. And now I need to go get this eye caught up. All right, I got this eye caught up. I finished my face makeup off camera and my boyfriend requested for the look to be darker. So we're gonna add some black liner. I'm gonna take my favorite black eyeliner ever for the waterline. This is House Labs Gel Coal Punk Liner. And I'm gonna run this across my entire tight line and waterline. Now I'm gonna take this small domed pencil brush. This is a 207 by BK Beauty. And I'm gonna to start to smudge out this black liner. So I'm really just pressing right on top of it and slightly dragging it downwards for the waterline. I'm gonna dip into a little black eyeshadow. This one's from Natasha Denona, My Dream Palette. I'm just taking a little bit of that and I'm just gonna stamp that on top of the liner. Now I'm gonna go back to Zinfandel from my Sigma palette and I'm gonna use this to soften the black just a little bit. So again, I'm just pressing right on top of the black shadow. I have this really nice black smoky lower lash line. Now I'm gonna take the highlighter that I used on my face. This is Rare Beauty Exhilarate. I'm gonna pop that in my inner corner. And a tiny bit of that highlighter under my brow. All right, went ahead and popped on my mascara and lashes. For my lashes, I'm wearing the Bright Lashes Lush. This is my lash brand. And I just wanted a really full lash, and this one has a slightly winged out shape, which I really like. And then to help hide my lash band, I just like to stamp a little bit of black eyeshadow on top of that. And I also took that House Labs liner and put that right in my inner corner to make that little, like, that little point in there. I feel like it makes every look just look so much more sexy in a way. Here is what the full face looks like and I absolutely love how this turned out. Like this is exactly what I wanted to do today when I said full on glam purple eyeshadow look. I got a couple different things on my cheeks in case you're wondering. I tried out this blush from Too Faced. This is my first time trying it. I got it in PR kind of randomly. It's the Too Faced Cloud Crush Blurring Blush. Oh my gosh. In the shade Golden Hour. I think this went viral at some point and they sent it and I was like sure I'll try it. And I put this more on like the top of my cheekbones 
and I actually really liked this color. I did feel like I had to build up the formula quite a bit, but I'm gonna keep testing this. And on top of that, I popped on the Bare Minerals Highlighting Blush in the shade Rose Glow. I wanted something that was a little bit more on the cool tone side, like other than like the peach one that they have, because I'm wearing purple eyeshadow, I obviously wanted something cool tone, so I have that all along the top of my cheekbone. And then I wanted a little bit more blush, so I used my Hourglass Quad that's in my project pan. I mixed these two shades together. And like I said earlier, the highlighter on the pinpoint of my face is my Rare Beauty Exhilarate. On my lips, I'm wearing my Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner in Iconic Nude with the Lawless Forget the Filler Lipstick in Wedding Day on top. I have been loving this shade out of the line. I think this one is my favorite. And then I just wanted a touch more pink to the lips, so I added this Tower 28 Gloss in Pistachio on top. Okay, before I wrap this up, I kind of want to touch up that crystal shade on my lid just really quick. I feel like I just need a little bit more pop with my finger. There we go. That's better. I think that kind of went away. Anyways, I had so much fun filming this look today. Let me know if you enjoyed this type of video where I'm just in the mood to do a specific kind of colorful look and we just play with different shadows. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.